Hey, this is John Woods with All Things Food. And those of you that watch my program, you're saying this looks like a different studio. It really is, and let me tell you exactly what happened. On December 23rd of 2022, just a few days before Christmas, we had just completed our brand new studio and we were so excited about coming back after the first of the year and filming our videos for the upcoming year. The next afternoon, which was Christmas Eve, I received a phone call and it was a frantic person telling me to get to the studio as soon as possible. When I did, I came around the corner, there were fire trucks leaving the scene and I really didn't know what had happened. And I get down to the studio, I walk in the door and there's water and debris as far as my eye could see. Our brand new studio had been completely demolished by a burst water sprinkler pipe straight overhead and we were set back to ground zero. I really didn't know what to think. And I stood there, the first thought that really came to my mind was from the story that took place in the life of one of my favorite historical characters, Thomas Alva Edison. Thomas Edison, one afternoon, was summoned to his plant where his laboratories were in West Orange, New Jersey, and it was ablaze. Nine or 10 of his buildings, his laboratories, where he had spent his entire life working, his life dream, was going up in a blaze of fire in just a few moments time. Edison called his son Charles and said, Charles, come here. And as calmly as he could talk, he said to his son, son, go home, get your mother, tell her to bring all the neighbors and get down here immediately because they'll never see a spectacle like this the rest of their life. And that was the attitude that Edison had. Later in the evening, he was interviewed by a reporter and someone asked him the question, what are you gonna do? He said, well, I'm 67 years of age, and tomorrow morning I will be here. We're gonna tear this down, and we're gonna rebuild. And we're gonna build it back bigger and better than ever before. And that's exactly what Edison did. So as I stood there in the knee-deep water, my new studio completely demolished, panels hanging from the ceiling, sheetrock coming from the wall, a brand new backdrop completely destroyed. I thought of the words of Thomas Edison, Sure, this is a tragedy, a small tragedy uh, in terms of tragedies, but my attitude was, it's okay, we're gonna come back in a few weeks and we're gonna build this back bigger and better than ever. And that's exactly what we're doing. The community immediately reached out to me. Debbie King from the South Haven Chamber of Commerce called, Connie James from the Heartland Hands um, Food Pantry called, but my dear friend Barbara Murray was in the process of converting her wedding venue, she said, why don't you come over here and put your studio in my venue? I was so excited because it's one of the most beautiful places in our little community of DeSoto County, Mississippi. So here I am today. We started putting a plan together just a few weeks ago. And within just a few days where I'm standing, there's gonna be a brand new stove, brand new kitchen. Everything's totally remodeled here. And we're gonna face the next year in this beautiful facility making the videos, all things food with John Woods. And I'm so excited and happy to be able to do that. And I'm really excited about coming over here in the year 2023 and posting YouTube videos and carrying on nearly a year now. And I'm so thankful for you that have watched our videos, that those of you that have subscribed, and I'm thankful for our community to reaching out in this time of need at this phase of my life. And I tell you what, it's gonna be an exciting year because we are coming back bigger and better than ever before. And you know what I always say, love to cook, but cook to love. And I'll see you real soon.